serious mind's brain tonic was created to sharpen the mind by protecting cells and increasing neurotransmitters associated with learning and memory. This is the serious mind's brain tonic. The resurrection formula. This male reproductive tonic elixir is the resurrection you've been looking for. It is a stimulating sexual tonic with mild androgen like effects that is nourishing to the reproductive system. You can order them at www.professorgriff.me and www.seriousmindsinstitute.com. Just call 678-557-2919. Your health is your wealth. Peace. Do your children love learning? At the Institute for Self Mastery, we've been homeschooling for 10 years. We didn't just hop on this because of what's going on now. Check us out. The Institute for Self Mastery, ismhomeschool.org. Peace. Greetings, fam. What's good with everyone? All right. Making it happen here at Serious Minds. Professor Griff, of course, I got Shane Shakur in the building. And on day, I don't think Quan's going to be in the building because I'm coming on kind of early. I got to make a serious move tomorrow. So, all right, fam, I need y'all to be prepared on February 12th for the, uh, the virtual Black History 101 Mobile Museum. We're going to walk through the virtual museum, all right? You'll see the flyer in a couple of days, but it's the virtual museum. Of course, there's going to be some physical pieces that I'm going to show everyone, but we're going to have the virtual museum up and popping. All right, COVID and this pandemic has forced us to do some things that, you know, which I guess in this case is a good thing because it's virtual. You'll be able to see uh, 500 pieces, some virtual, some not. I'm going to lecture by Dr. Carla L.I. Kim and yours truly, Professor Griff, February 12th. Put that on your calendar. I right, put that on your calendar. Shawnee Black, what's good with you? Nice to see you in the building. All right. Shout out to the Serious Minds family. We're bringing the um, mic check one, two, one, two. We're bringing it back in March, Mr. Hassan Burton. So, yeah. Getting laced up, son. Real. All right. Tonight's subject, we're going to be talking about the Patriot Party. If you haven't heard about the Patriot Party, please do so. Mr. Enemies Public, what's good with you? Check out the Patriot Party. What is the Patriot Party? What is the Patriot Party, fam? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go Google it right now. Y'all got a few minutes. We ain't going to be on here long. 
All right. Fortunately, or I guess I said unfortunately, I got to get on a flight tomorrow. So not feeling too good about that, but it is what it is. All right. Um, the Patriot Party. Shout out to Quan S. I know she's not in the building. Shout out to uh Alex Little John. Alex Little John, I did get the book. I'm gonna read it while I'm gonna take it with me on my trip. This is Miss Alex Little John. All right, switching stages, the Get Hip manuscript. All right. So yeah, hopefully we we can interview Miss uh, Alex Little John and uh, yeah. Uh, my good brother from um, Kicked Out of Heaven. I'm bringing him back uh, in February. We're going to bring Miss uh, Alex Little John into the building, Dr. Kala El Akin, and a few other people. Black Dot is coming back to uh, to do something with us. So, yeah, February should be fly, really fly. They're training German shepherds to sniff out an alert to coronavirus. God damn. It's critical, man. All right, so this independent party that I've been talking about for a year now, that y'all have been hearing me talk about it. Um, um, hold on. Uh, somebody got the bright idea to do it, an independent party, which I said we should have done a long time ago. Hold on for a second. All right. Here we go. So whether it's a, uh, a party that... Uh, hold on for a second. Devin says the Patriot Party was a socialist organization of the late 1960s and early 1970s in the United States. The organization poor rural whites and Appalachian South and Pacific Northwesterners. Okay. The official Patriot Party is growing community of responsible Americans who share core values, vision, and a mission. All right. Little Goddess says, we are non-partisan grassroots organization that does not advocate for candidates for any one party. Offer opportunity to empower like-minded Americans like you to truly make a difference. There should be a third party. All right. I've always said that this two-party system in America just does not work. And you've seen evidence of what Professor Grip has been saying all this time. It does not work, family. It does not work. The two-party system does not work. There are already uh, influential third parties that uh, operate behind the scenes that you only hear of, but you never see who they are, that influence the Democratic and Republican Party. That can influence an election. All right? So they said, uh, I'm just skipping around now on some stuff. Trump in the news says... Uh, here we go. Trump has talked to associates about forming a new political party. They call that party the Patriot Party. The Patriot Party. Once again, the Patriot Party. I've said for a long time that we need to come together as a people to influence whether it's the Democratic uh, or the Republican Party. Them two parties really don't take black people's interests at heart. Or serious. We need to have a party that comes together that can basically uh, put the pressure on these particular candidates, whether they're in the, pardon me, not independent, Republican or Democrat. All right. Okay. Now, uh, Little Goddess says specific causes that we decide are of utmost importance to us, including but not limiting our fight for free speech, education reform, government transparency, freedom, and religion, and health reform. 
that makes all the sense in the world. And I've been saying this for a long time. All right. If Donald Trump is putting together an independent party to bring about some of these things for poor whites and other people that still believe in him, I would just rather not put together a third party centered around a, a, a personality. Not my personality, not little goddess personality, not your personality. It need to be centered around the willingness for us to stand up, speak up, speak out, and to be free. Plain and simple. If you don't have that in mind, I don't know. I was going to talk about uh, the National Guard troops sleeping in the garage in the cold. Yeah, but yeah, that's their thing. Um, but that just goes to show you. All right. Okay. So I, I think we should start thinking um, in that vein. I think we should start thinking more towards an independent party. All right. So rather than you having to choose between Democrats and Republicans, this two party system, we're able. All right. To come together with our own independent party that can influence any candidate. As long as you got the numbers and as long as your voice is loud enough. Johnny Taylor, peace. What's good with you, bro? Johnny Black, you're absolutely correct. To the fire. Plain and simple. All right. Um, Damie, D-A-M-I, no. I don't think dude knows enough to do put this and pull this off. No. No. He has some, some cute little slogans, but no. I'm talking about really, truly coming up with a third party, not centered around somebody's personality, not P. Diddy's, not... Yeah. Not scruffy, puffy, nobody. None of them. No. No. I'm, I'm talking about a real independent party. Oh, yeah, man. I hear you, Johnny Taylor. That, that Phil Valentine thing was off the meat rack, man. Yeah. Yes, so, yeah, it's going to take some deep breathing to kind of get past that. President Trump has reportedly floated the possibility of starting a new political party um, as he prepares to leave the White House. Now, this was done weeks and weeks ago. They've already been talking this up. If 70 million people voted for him, they did a poll, and right now, there are so many people right now still believe in Donald Trump. Right now, as we speak, as the Senate prepares a trial for impeachment, you don't need to get House and Senate seats. Whoever you are, D-A-M-I, you don't need to. The other people that put pressure on them, people don't get House and Democratic seats. Who's your man? Donald Trump doesn't have to run. We're talking about influence now. The people that really run America, y'all never see. Y'all got this twisted. Limp dick ass fucking asshole and do your fucking thing. The fuck? And... 
I had absolutely nothing to do with you and Donald Trump. What do I think about pardons? Shit, if I was in jail, I'd want the president to pardon me also. But we already had that conversation, like two or three shows. Shut up, bro. So when we start looking at who really controls and run America, those that are behind the scene, they are the ones that influence these people to make the decisions that they make. All right? Yeah, all uh, beautiful black skin. I know. I wanted to talk about, um, well, tomorrow night, if I'm in position to do so, I wanted to cover some of the hip-hop stuff, the Salt and Pepper movie, um, Trey Songs, and some other stuff. Thank you, Cherokee Outlaw, the Puppet Masters, the Banksters, Devin, not the Bankers, the Banksters, because they're gangsters and banksters and bankers, all right? So, yeah, we need to get wise about what's truly going on and how this thing runs and how this thing work. All right? So let's not... Yeah, come on, fam. Don't even do that to yourself. All right? So like I said, we're not going to be on here long. I came on to kind of um, kind of see everyone, kind of let y'all know I'm going to be moving about. Um, I'm going to be moving about uh, next few days. Um, the scenery is not going to look the same. I might be broadcasting from a hotel room or side of the road somewhere or from a cafe because I'm on the move. All right. All right. So this third party, we need to really think about this. We need to kind of give it some breathing room, see what they're talking about. If he has 70 million people voting for him, at least 69 million of them people are still out there without a leader. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to pull everyone back, be quiet for a minute, reorganize, and by the time 2024 roll around, you're going to feel the wrath. I'm telling you, man. Robert Richards says he loves the NRA. Okay. Reginald Jackson, peace, man. What's good with you? We love you too, good bro. You in KC? Oh, yeah, Kansas City. They're making their way back to the Super Bowl. All right. Joe Mullins, what's happening with you, man? I'm on kind of early because I got something to do tomorrow. We're talking about Donald Trump's supposedly third party. It's called the Patriot Party. You said join NAGA, Cherokee Outlaw? Why? What does NAGA have to offer? What does NAGA have to offer, man? We already have a third party that's independent. What party is that? Cherokee. Please tell me why we should join Naga. And Dami, whatever your name is, why should we join the NRA? Johnny Taylor, what's good with you, bro? Oh, thanks, man. Really appreciate that, bro. Yeah, um, you got access to the uh, Sirius Cipher, right? Uh, with the Sirius Cipher, um, Shane is doing it right now. He's pr producing and putting together the um the actual thing that you're going to see on the Sirius Cipher with me and Black Doc putting images and other stuff. Um, you don't have to put too many images because we showed a lot of them. So, but he's putting some images and making it sla uh, slap you right in the, in the back of the neck. All right, really appreciate you though. All right. Cherokee Outlaw says you prefer their stance on gun rights. Me too. A lot of the other things that they say and do, I don't agree with, though. But their stands on gun rights, cool. I got you. I can rock with you on that. Mm 
Jay Tripper, why would you think, or why would you ever think, um, MAGA, MAGA is better than Biden? Neither one of us is good for black people. So there's not, the devil ain't, ain't more important than Lucifer or Satan. Both of them the same, bro. Biden wants to take your guns. You're absolutely correct. Uh, Biden wants to take your guns and MAGA want to take your life. So yeah, you decide, bro. If you don't know the other issues of the NRA that don't speak kindly about black people's causes, yeah, you're on the wrong show tonight. You need to go down the hallway. All right? For real. Jay Tripper, you a cool dude, man, but we ain't got to choose either one of them. What's wrong? What's wrong with choosing yourself? One of my elderly cousins got mad at me because I didn't vote for the cotton wigs. So we have a rocky relationship. Fuck them. You have a rocky, rocky relationship. If that little bit of thing is going to rock your relationship with your cousin, yeah, tell him good luck. Give him some dap and say, I still love you, cuz. Let him go on about his business. If anything simple like that is going to mess up my relationship with people, see you, and I wouldn't want to be you. You're right. Two wings of the same damn bird, man. Biden and MAGA. My issues is the same issues that every black person have with the NRA. What do you think they are? If you're only asking some ridiculous ass questions on NRA stand stance when it comes to black people, come the fuck on. I ain't answering that, please. You must not be black. Cherokee Outlaw said the NRA sucks, point blank. Peter L. Elgalin says, fuck the NRA. We gotta start playing, we gotta start playing chess though. Okay, if you black, let's start acting like it. Then what is the NRA's position on black people then when it comes to black people? You tell me since you're black. And who the fuck are you to be telling me to answer the question? Eat a dick and die. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Your ass is blocked. Fuck you. Telling me shit. Not your ugly motherfucking ass. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm one motherfucker that do not tolerate disrespect. Fuck you. Keep it fucking moving. Plain and simple. What's a motherfucker would tell me what the fuck to do? If you ain't God or my motherfucking wife, fuck out of here. Got the wrong motherfucking program. I don't need your, your ass on here. Fuck out of here. That's easy way to get your ass blocked. Now let another motherfucker try that move. I'll show y'all how to do the fucking remix. Yup, we having a motherfucking block party up this motherfucker. Plain and simple. What's your motherfucker I don't know coming on my motherfucking platform telling me what the fuck to do? Get the fuck out of here. Get... <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck y'all think I'm the other dude? At the, on the other platform? Nah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> well, you could be right. You could be right, Deacon Matt. NRA is an imaginary safeguard for gun control. Uh, when rich gun lobbyists, weapons, deals, and dealers. Uh, threatened. Well, you're right about that. 
and black people just caught up and get caught up in the fray because some of us belong to the NRA. But what is their position when it comes to black people? So when black people come together and put together an independent party and we build strength, we got to check that shit in the NRA also. We check anything that disrespects black people. Am I right or wrong? So just because they allow you to carry a fucking gun with a few little rights that you enjoy, you ride with these motherfuckers wholeheartedly. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. You peel one layer back in any of these organizations and see how they treat black people. You're like, oh, damn. Okay. Cherokee outlaw. What is the Milford Act of 1967? What is it? What is it? Uh, Asar, I don't know what that means. I don't even... I am, you're right. We're at war and don't even have a plan. I think individuals have a plan. What's up, Ernst? What's good with you, bro? You gonna be at work tomorrow? I'm coming through there, bro. Keep it up, Dejan. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Appreciate you. K Rock, K R O C. So, listen, the subject tonight is the Patriot Party, Donald Trump's independent party to neutralize the Republican Party mainly, but to influence the 2024 election. they thinking down the road. Adam Blackfoot, peace, man. Last Asiatic Disciples, what's good? I don't know what the Milford Act is. I'm playing real dumb right now. So can you explain what the Milford Act is? People don't know what you're talking about, bro. All right. Eric, you're another one that's about to get cut the fuck off. So let me explain this to you one time, Mr. Eric Knowles, whatever your name is. You said the sum of 2021, more guns, more death. If there were no guns on the street, Eric, people would still kill one another. Am I right or wrong? I'm waiting on your answer. Am I right or wrong? If there was no guns in existence, would people still kill one another? They would. So don't blame the deaths on guns. Let's blame the deaths on Dumb ass people that already have the intentions on doing what they do, they just use the gun as a tool. People have been died by getting run uh, but getting murdered by run guys, people running them over with cars, screwdrivers, hammers, blunt force trauma to the dome with whatever object, strangulation, whatever, chainsaws. You all watch Jason and, and the chainsaw massacre. Ain't only guns, so stop playing. So whether it's the NRA, Naga, which dude never explained why we should join Naga, whatever organization it is, I am holding on to my gun. If I gotta pay that little twenty dollars to or whatever it is to join NRA to raise my voice so I can exercise my uh, Second Amendment, then that's what the fuck I gotta do. Y'all do what y'all gotta do. I'm just saying I'm holding on to mine. Me and Sister Rose, I was thinking about getting her some, uh, I got an addition to her little sexy ass lingerie, but uh, I might throw something else on her. You understand what I'm saying? But no, me and Sister Rose is hanging the fuck out. All right? As a matter of fact, I might even throw on some red and black. I had my red and black already laid out, but I couldn't even wear it today. You understand what I'm saying? You see the red and black warm-up suit, Um, because I just got Sister Rose back. Where is she at? You had a sex call. You gotta play. Me and my girlfriend. Right, me and my girlfriend. <laughs> Fuck that. If I gotta join the NRA to raise my voice to speak to the fact that I need to hold on, 
Yeah, nah. I'm, fuck that. I'm, I'm, I'm holding on. I don't know about y'all shit. But I want to hold on to the tool that I think that could protect me. That could protect me and my family. What the fuck is wrong with that? Plain and simple. All right. The Milford Act was 1967 California bill that... Re hold on. That repealed a law allowing public carry of loaded firearms. All right. They guarded national attention after the Black Panther Party members was bearing arms. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, Peter. Got you, bro. All right. Thank you. Really appreciate you. This is serious minds that attract serious minds seriously. All right. We got to be thorough when we come on it because everyone just don't know. Hold on for a second. National African American Gun Association. I got you, Cherokee, but why should we join Naga? Because I've been a mem member of Naga for years, and yeah, y'all help me out. I want to be a part of an organization that's going to offer me some training, all right, some brotherhood, get me some deals on some ammo, let me know I can get a platform built. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, man. Not. Nah. Yep. I want to be able to hold on to my firearm like y'all because if somebody kicked my door in, yeah, I want to be able to neutralize the threat. I want to be able to neutralize the threat, whether it's with this or something else, but I'm going to neutralize the threat, plain and simple. Oh, thank you very much, MK, all day long. I want to be able to neutralize the threat, plain and simple. I mean, ain't no if ands, or buts about it. I got to be able to hold my own. Like, you should be able to hold yours. No one's going to come in. Listen, the only thing that's going to stop a bad guy with a gun is what? A good guy with a gun, right or wrong? Come on, talk to me, fam. Mm. I don't know about you on the mic with Terrence Bailey Sr. Yo, you need to cut that shit out, Terrence Bailey Sr., for real, bro. Ain't no goddamn ammo shortage over here. I don't know what you're doing. You don't know the right people. You need some ammo? Call me. 678-557-2919. Yeah. So, fam, seriously, man. Get the, Hold on. Before I start moving this around. It's clear, fam. It's clear. I don't want y'all to think I'm wielding around a loaded gun. Nah, it's clear. See? It's clear. See the daylight. It's clear. I, um, yeah, not yet. Sister, whatever your name is, not only at the damn, uh, capital, I see why people holding their guns, riding with their guns, guns up in the back window of the pickup truck, all kind of shit. Because they're exercising their second amendment. All right. All right, fam. I promise this wasn't going to be a long show tonight, but I want to make people aware that we're going to have to take that conversation about Hank Aaron and that COVID vax. We got to take that underground and have that conversation because y'all already know what happened. All right. It's the Patriot Party. Look up the Patriot Party. All right. And let's get our minds fixed on 2024 and beyond. All right. I got to get ready to get out of here. Listen, wherever you are, all right, whatever rights that you think you have and you hold it on to, and hey, you got to do what you got to do. All right. Oh, give thanks, Courtney. Austin, Wilson, hey, fam, ADOS, North Carolina, appreciate you. I appreciate you and ADOS. All right. All right, fam. It's Professor Griff and me and uh, Sister Rose. We like to say good night. <laughs> All right. Peace, man. Love y'all. Like Johnny Taylor, I'll talk to you good, bro. I'm on the move, man. Let me play this last commercial. Dude, I'm gone. Love y'all. Peace, man.
Serious Minds Brain Tonic was created to sharpen the mind by protecting cells and increasing neurotransmitters associated with learning and memory. This is the Serious Minds Brain Tonic. The Resurrection Formula. This male reproductive tonic elixir is the resurrection you've been looking for. It is a stimulating sexual tonic with mild androgen-like effects that is nourishing to the reproductive system. You can order them at www.professorgriff.me and www.seriousmindsinstitute.com. Just call 678-557-2919. Your health is your wealth. Peace. Greetings, it's Professor Griff, and I want to present to you my custom-made AR-15 30-round mags. Right now, you can get these four custom 30-round AR-15 mags. Just call 678-557-2919, or go on my website, www.professorgriff.me. Are yours truly, the Minister of Information, Professor Griff, a serious minds serious minds that attract serious minds with serious arms seriously.